91.9 WLJS, your cure for common radio. Every year, the Jacksonville State University radio station showcases students and volunteer personalities with their own radio shows. The man who helps put these shows together is Program Director Jefferson Varner. My name is Jefferson Varner IV. I am the Program Director for 91.9 WLJS-FM. We're actually here in the lobby area where you can see a quick view our spring 2017 lineup schedule. What this all entails and why I'm pointing this out to you is because we have officially scored a thousand likes on our Facebook page and this is all primarily from our hardworking DJs. Um, since the top of this semester and last I've trained up to around 70 to 80 DJs which is very intense compared to the little that we had uh, years before with former directors. So we saw like a very big expansion with our uh, formatting schedule and we've been just seeing, like I said, with the Facebook, tons of likes, tons of responses, lots of feedback. And uh, I'm just hoping to continue by doing it, by adding in a few more shows and just making sure the quality is coming in. One of those shows is the Cody Dean Show, hosted by Cody Dean and Zella Shea. Cody and Shea give their thoughts on relationships, battle of the sexes questions, and their views on entertainment and more. Cody Dean Show, um, it got started about three years ago, uh, I decided to do it because there was a mic and there was an opportunity for a voice to be heard. Um, not just for entertainment purposes, but there's always a purpose. When the mic is on, you have a purpose. A great person by the name of Zella Shea Garrett has been, um, has been amazing to work with. Uh, we started, we started working together. We started building our friendship through another commonality that we have with with singing, with singing um, gospel music. Uh, so we got together as far as the Jacksonville State University Gospel Choir. Uh, that's how that's how we met. And ever since we met a few years ago, we have we have clicked and and it has been an amazing friendship off the show, which therefore makes it a better show due to the fact that we are friends and, you know, we, we are playing, you know. You know, we can be as serious as we want to be on the show, but afterwards, we go get something to eat, we chill, we talk, we laugh, we just, we just have a good time. Uh, even though we've had a great time for the two hours that, that we were on the radio, it's just an amazing opportunity to um, to be with a friend, not just somebody I I met a month ago, not somebody I met last semester, but we have been friends for some years, and it uh, it, it it is great to have her on the show, and you know she you know gives a womanly perspective of it all. Um, I've been with male co-hosts. Uh, the entire, almost the entire time I've been doing the show, but ever since she has come along, she has brought in her own, her own sassiness, her own, just her own to the show. She has, she has definitely brought that um, onto the show. And the Cody Dean show, it has, it, it, it has my name, it has my name in it, but Truly and honestly, it really has nothing to do with me. Uh, it is hosted by me, hosted by uh, Zella Shea, hosted by us, but it truly has nothing to do with us because it is our show, but it's, but it's the people's show. Uh, we, we, have, uh, we allow people to call in and make requests or talk about whatever it is we talk about. And also from the time that I started the show to now, I have, uh, we have received fan letters, uh, fan letters from, uh, from, from even people in jail, people in prison have, uh, have written the show, written me and said they, they love the show, they love, they, they love, you know, what I talk about, how I talk about things, and, um, you know, of course, giving their shout outs, but, uh, but through it all, the show has been an amazing opportunity for some amazing people. Myself, Zella Shea, 
uh, Derek Williams, LaDerek Armstrong, um, and, and so many other people have benefited from this show. Not just me. Yes, it has my name, but it has truly nothing to do with me. It is the Cody Dean Show, and we will be right back. Another show is Dave and Friends, hosted by David Murray and his two friends, Kayla and Jacob. They play Christian music while reading God's Word and some funny stories. My interest in radio started when I was just four years old. Um, my brother and I, we had a radio show called Chris and David that we recorded on one of those little tape players. And it was basically a spoof of the Rick and Bubba show, which many people are familiar with. And uh, yeah, we were just creative kids. We always had our hands on something, uh, whether it was recording audio or making a movie or drawing comic books. Yeah, we were just, we were just creative kids. And having a radio show allows me to be creative. Dave and Friends got started at work, actually, which is where I met my two co-hosts. Um, we had a very <laughs> interesting sense of humor and really good chemistry. Um, I saw that my senior year was approaching and my last semester to half my own radio show was coming up. So I discussed with them, would you be interested in joining the show? And they're like, yes, so let's do it. So um, I had the two of them be my co-host and it's been, it's been really awesome. And it's not only a good experience for me, but it's a good experience for them as well. Um, Kayla, she's a senior in high school. She's about to graduate. And Jacob, he is going to actually attend JSU really soon. So um, it's just been a really great experience to have them on the show. I was very blessed to have the experience to intern at Power 107.5 FM, which is in Albertville. And not only did it give me the experience to be on a radio show, but it also helped me find my voice and to really, it allowed me to break out of my shell, really. Um, it was just a very good experience and it also showed me that there's more to having a radio show than just turning on the mic and talking. You know, there's, there's show prep involved and it really you know, helped me prepare Dave and friends in a way that I wouldn't have been able to had I not had that experience. And um, it was just awesome getting to meet the people there and it's just been a real awesome experience to host Dave and friends on my last semester here at JSU. Um, it's been a real pleasure. So thank you guys for listening. Coming up, we have a special interview with the one, the only, Mandisa. Woo! Coming right up. Stay tuned. That was fun. <laughs> I'm glad you we don't have to do that again. What got me into radio initially was just the sense of wanting to create a show. Um, I wanted to go and venture into like R&B and hip hop uh, music programming. But of course, when I took on an internship, they told me that my voice didn't match the platform. So I just went and started thinking of, well, let me think beyond just being disc jockey. Let me think of probably doing like managing. And then lo and behold, JSC was offering uh, the role for the program director. So I thought, ooh, this might be a good fit. And then since then, I've just been adding shows consistently and I've just been loving what I'm doing. I'm seeing so much improvement from a lot of DJs who've had bad stage fright because I know from my experience before I came onto radio, I had a huge sp a speech impediment, as you can see just now. Uh, I have a huge speech problem, uh, not just in terms of stuttering, but also the level of my tone. So with radio, it sort of exercised my vocals and made me more made me sound more professional and made me sound more clear and more calm and confident. So um, that's the beauty of why I love it so much. You know, I, the more I keep doing it, the more um, practical and more grown up, I guess you can say, I'm becoming. So yeah, that's basically why I love radio and why I'm doing it.